okay good morning my name is nirbhay and today i am going to teach you the basic introduction of adobe indesign so when you open this software you will see something like this uh, on your screen if you have any previous document which you have created it will show you it to you in the preview mode but if you want to open a new page you have to click on new or you can go to file and new document so when you open a new document it will ask for some details like how many pages document you want to have but before that I want to explain you what is the basic difference between InDesign and Adobe Illustrator so the Adobe Illustrator is basically to make the vector scalable media but in InDesign, we create beautiful documents, catalog, banners, etc. So when you open a new file here, it will ask you how many pages document you want to have. So suppose if you want to have a document of 10 pages, then you have to write 10 here in front of number of pages. And the next thing you have to do is to click on the facing pages or not. If you click on the facing pages, it will create your two side printed document. But if you unclick it, it will create your single page document. That means if you want to have a document which you don't want to have front and back printed, you can leave this facing page option blank. Or unclicked but if you want to make a document with double side printed that means front and back both side printed then you have to click on this facing pieces option and then you have to select the page size so I'm taking a4 for for now and then you have to select the orientation of the page and suppose you want to have a portrait document you have to click on this portrait option and if you want to have a landscape document you have to click on this landscape option and then you have to press ok so when you press ok you will see that your document 10 pages document is already created you can use zoom out same shortcut as you use in illustrator control minus to see the pages like this so the first page which is on top is your cover page when you make a document the cover page is normally single side and then you have this page number two which normally you leave it blank on your document and then you have this content page where you write your all your page numbers your contents your topic numbers and rest of the pages you use images and text to create your document the last page you normally leave it blank which normally comes on the left side of the book i hope i am able to explain you clearly the basic introduction of how to open a new page and set your document so the next thing i am going to teach you is the master page layout whenever you design a new document you have to think about the layouts the margins and the column so for that to set the layout you have to open window and pages if it is already clicked it means the piece window is already open here you'll see uh, the small icon of all your pages page number one two three all the pages have their own numbers here and on top of this section here you will see a master and you will also see none so suppose if you make a document and if you want to use same kind of layout in all your pages so you have to use a master and set the layout so you have to understand whatever you do in a master piece it will automatically comes in all all of your pages so if you have any document with similar layout in all the pages you can 
do the changes in this a master and those elements will appear in all of your pages so for that you have to double click on this a master document you will see that you will only be able to see two pages in your screen and rest all is gone but you don't have to worry everything is there but it is hidden the next thing you, you have to understand is to set the margins and column before creating any document normally people make mistake when they create a document and when they get it printed some of their text and images goes inside the bindings area so here you have to set your margins like from where to where you want to have your text and images and till where you have to have the binding spaces so as you can see in the screen you'll see this purple lines here this is your printed area now you have to open this scale ruler in this software so for that you have to use control r to get this ruler visible in your screen i have pressed control r again and again so that the ruler can appear in the screen and then it goes so when you decide a document you normally use a unit maybe in inches or in centimeter here you have to click right click on the ruler and you have to select inches if you have measured any document or if you get a specified unit from your faculty or thought of using uh, the measurement in centimeter you have to select centimeter but right now i'm going to use inches same way you have to click on the left side of the ruler and then you have to click inches now the next thing you have to go to layout and margins and column so when you click on margins and column you'll see this window where you have this top area this bottom area this inside area and this outside area suppose if you want to have a magazine kind of binding which doesn't have any space in between and it has only three to four pages or maybe a small catalog which have very limited pages the document doesn't have any space in between so in this document this is our left side page and this is our right side page this center area we call it as inside so for the left page the inside is this one and for the right page the inside is this area the left one to change the margins you have to adjust this area so as you can see i have selected this left side page in the master page you have to change the measurement of this inside one if you want to reduce the margin area of this binding space so i am going to type it 0.25 inches and we'll see what happens or you can see the inside printed area is increased but if you want to have a book binding where you have a one inch space so that you have enough binding space you can change it to one inch and see what happens like this and if you don't want to give any space on the outer side you have to type it zero here like this same way you can change the adjustment on the top and bottom so on top I am leaving it zero and zero. So if you want to have a document which just doesn't have sp any space from top or left or bottom, you can use this setup. Same way you have to repeat it on the right side pages so that your document is uniform. So zero zero one and zero. So this time I am going to click on right side of the e masterpiece, and then I am going to click on layout margins and column and then i'll click top area zero bottom area zero inside same like left one i'm going to uh, put one here and outside again zero so we ha only have this one inch gap of this binding area and then we can print it edge to edge and when you click OK, what will happen? Press Control minus and click on this normal pages here. You have to double click on this normal pages here. 
you will see all the pages have same margins and column which we have applied it in the master page. I hope this is clear to you. If you have any question you can write down, you can WhatsApp me or you can write it on the comment box so that I can get back to you with the solution. So like I already said you that whatever you do in masterpiece and it will appear in all your, all of your pages. I am going to double click again on the left side of the masterpiece and then I am going to add a shape like this. I have taken this rectangular frame tool and I have created this shape and then I am going to fill black color on it or any other color. Right now I am going to fill black color in it. You can also add your logo, any kind of images or anything. So I am just going to press alt and drag it and keep it on the right side of this page. If you want to have a border line, you can use this line tool. Press shift so that the line becomes straight. And then I'm going to press alt and drag it and keep it on the right side of the piece. So now you can see I have created the document with the layout of left side piece and layout of right side piece. Let's get back to the normal piece. I'm going to double click on this normal piece once again. And you'll see whatever I have done in master page, it, get, it got created in all the other pages. Here you might have some question that what if you don't want to have the same layout in the cover page? Yes, we have a solution for that. For that, you have to click on this none icon which is on top of this A master and drag it on the cover page here in the icon itself. And you'll see that it is gone. Now it is blank. Same way if you don't want to have this layout in any of the page, you can simply drag. Suppose if you don't want to have this layout in page number 5. This is our page number 5. So I am going to drag this none and place it on page number 5. Like this. So the basic layout which we have created in A master is not applied in on this page. Always remember whenever you have to do any changes in the layout. You have to double click on the masterpiece and do the changes which you want to do. like this hope this is clear to you in the next chapter i am going to show you how to use text and images in this document thanks a lot have a nice day